Welcome to the first part of the world of my third Altri Go Kart. In this part we will look at the construction of the main frame. I decided to build the main frame as a bolted structure, as I have no experience with welding. The main frame consists of two long beams and three cross beams. The long beams are made of square steel profile and the cross beams are made of rectangular steel profile. The real part of the main frame is made of rectangular profile. At first these profiles needed to be cut to the required length and angles. After completing the production of the profiles for the main frame, it was necessary to produce the connecting elements. Because as I said at the beginning of the video, this frame will be a bolted structure. The connecting elements are made of strip steel. A total of 12 pieces of these connecting parts needed to be produced. In order to assemble the structure, all parts had to be provided with screw holes. In the first stage, holes were drilled into the connecting strips, which were pre-drilled with 5 mm drill bit. The resulting hole diameter will be 9 mm for an 8 mm screw. completed holes could then be countersunk. In the next part of the drilling process, holes were drilled into the profiles. The holes had to be drilled sequentially along the connecting strips to achieve the highest possible accuracy. The holes in the profiles also have a diameter of 9 mm and are countersunk. In the third part of this video, we will look at the production of electric motor holders and other mainframe components. The electric motor holders are made of L profiles and are designed to allow the chain to be tangent. The first part of the electric motor holder are the mounts on the main frame. 
These mounts will house the holders for the electric motor feet. These holders will have long holes for the sliding movement of the motor to tension the chain. The maximum movement of the motor will be 30 mm. The cart will be powered by a total of two electric motors. Next, we will look at the manufacture of bumper mounts. The bumper mounts are made of L profiles and will be attached to the main frame of the cart. Additional L profiles with larger holes for two bumper tubes will then be attached to these mounts. The main frame profiles are equipped with spacer tubes to prevent the profile wall from sagging when the screw is tightened to the maximum. In the last phase, the connecting strips could be completed. The strips were cut to their final shape and their edges were sanded. In the last part of this video, we will look at the assembly of the main frame. The screws used for its assembly are of strength class 8.8. .8. Two lengths of these screws were used, namely 65 mm and 70 mm. These screws are 8 mm in diameter and have partial thread. Lock nuts were used to ensure a good connection. The main frame was first assembled so that the screws were not tightened too much. Since the holes in the main frame profiles and in the connecting strips have a diameter of 9 mm, the main frame had to be aligned so that it was axially symmetrical and the cross profiles were parallel. Then the screws could be tightened more. Once all the screws were tightened, these screws could be tightened to an exact torque of 20 Nm. The main frame is now finished. 
So this is the end of this video. In the next part we will look at the construction of the inner frame and the steering. I hope you enjoy this video and I look forward to seeing you in the next part. Have a nice day.